Xinjiang was previously called the Islamic Republic of East Turkestan, which was an independent Muslim state that fell under the rule of the Chinese government in 1911. It is home to Muslims called Vigas, who comprise around half of the population of around 20 million. The Muslims of East Turkestan have faced a series of measures over the years under the guise of fighting terrorism by the occupying Chinese authorities. They started their evil anti-Islam campaign by banning Muslims from fasting or from wearing the hijab or growing a beard. Between 2016 to 2017, they banned the Quran, prayer mats, limited travel for Hajj and even naming children with Muslim names. However, this was to come in 2018 when, perhaps encouraged by the silence of the world, they forcibly took thousands of Muslims into newly built detention camps in the desert. Very little information was offered on what exactly occurs in these prisons, which China refers to as voluntary re-education camps. And this is how thoughts are transformed. Long hours of rote learning Chinese. The study of China's tightening restrictions on religion. And the replacing of faith and cultural identity with a different loyalty. I love the Communist Party of China, this man has written. Furthermore, the crackdown widened to extreme digital surveillance, force feeding of pork and alcohol, cutting long dresses of Muslim women, and even forcing Muslim women to marry non-Muslim Han Chinese men. If this was not enough, they have recently started to separate children from their parents and to lock them up in so-called voluntary boarding schools, where they are brainwashed with communist and anti-Islamic beliefs. Buried deep on the Chinese internet, there's evidence to suggest there is now a deliberate policy to separate children from their roots. The Xinjiang government is attempting to gain full control over the young generation, to literally raise a new generation that has been cut off from original roots, from religious beliefs, from cultural knowledge, even from their own language. Uh, I believe the evidence really points what we must call uh, cultural genocide. With the exception of Turkey quietly raising concerns, Muslim nations remained silent, as did the Western world, the so-called champions of freedom and democracy. After public pressure, they eventually acted under joint letters signed by 22 UN ambassadors condemning China for their brutal treatment of Uyghur Muslims was issued. Shortly after this letter, Muslim countries such as Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Pakistan, Qatar, Kuwait and Syria finally woke up. However, shockingly, instead of condemning this tyranny, they signed a counter letter expressing their support for China's brutal crackdown. They preferred keeping good trade ties with China over condemning it for its persecution of their fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. Today, it is said that more than 4.4 million Uyghurs are being forcibly held. Their persecution by China is very well documented by the Western media, such as the BBC, which has carried out many investigations to expose this brutality. 